Hey everyone, and welcome back to another chapter of From Ashes to a New Beginning, written by me, Stacey Holt. Artwork was by Pastel Kitty Gore Art. As for my voice actors, Diz will be voicing Adrian, Cat Noir, and Mr. Bug, and I will be voicing Marinette, Ladybug, and the narrator. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and comment. Also, hit that notification button to let you know when another video is coming out. And also, don't forget to check out my voice actors, because they're amazing! Anyways, now, back to the chapter. Something about the look he made made Marinette almost regret asking the question. It was so cold and sad, like he was still fighting back tears. It's okay. I'm right here. I'm fine. Marinette placed her hand on his cheek with a comforting smile. Kat smiled and leaned in and placed a warm kiss on her cheek, catching Marinette off guard. The hand that rested on Cat Noir's cheek now flew to her own cheek due to shock. <laughs> Still easily flustered, I see. He chuckled. Did, did I know your identity? Marinette asked. Cat blushed and nodded. I... I liked your civilian self? Marinette asked. No more questions. Cat said, closing his eyes as he turned and laid on his back. Marinette blinked and felt like he was hiding something from her. It hurt. Did she have the right to ask, though? Cat, please. I don't want whatever happened in that future to happen again. Marinette pleaded. I'm handling it, princess. It won't happen. He said. Uh, how do you know? She asked. Because... I'm not going to be with you after tomorrow, he said, turning to her. What? What are you saying? She said. After we defeat Hawkmaw at the Mayura, people will always need Ladybug, just in case a new evil arises. I... I'm giving up being Cat Noir to make sure that future doesn't happen. I will rid myself from you. I wish your downfall. He forced a smile. I don't believe you. Marinette sat up. Marinette. I don't believe that. Stop lying. We're partners. You can't abandon me. Marinette cried. <laughs> abandon you? Kat said wide-eyed. Yes, you're abandoning me. Marinette frowned. I don't see it that way. I see it as preventing the same mistakes. Bunnick said that she would step in and help if anything else were to happen. Marinette balled her hands into fists. She looked at her partner. What was he keeping from her to protect her? He had to be keeping some truth from her. She had to make him stay. She couldn't be Ladybug without him. She needed him. He was her partner. Please, stay with me, Marinette begged. I can't. I lost you once. I won't lose you again, Kat said, placing a hand on her cheek. Marinette closed her eyes, feeling tears fall down her face. This was the worst feeling. Her partner was leaving her tomorrow. She eventually wanted to know his identity, but not like this. Not him giving it up to not be a miraculous holder any longer. What about Plague? You're going to abandon him too? Marinette said, placing her hand on top of his that rested on her cheek. Plague? We'll understand. He knows what I've been through, Bugaboo. He gave her a soft smile. No, I can't let you go. Paris needs you. I need you. Marinette said. You're the guardian. Paris needs you, LB. You may need me, but I need you to stay alive. Alive and happy. Kat said. Alive? You keep saying things that sound like you killed me. That can't be true. 
you would never hurt me, Marinette said. Not intentionally. Cat replied. Cataclysm? Marinette asked. N no. There was a fire. Hawkmoth must have set a detonator of some sort with his phone. You had no... He stopped himself. The less she knew, the better. She didn't need to know about how she died. She didn't need to know about how he became the Guardian and was an official screw-up. How he was officially the worst Guardian in history. The only thing I can promise you is I will stay with you all night tonight. Cat reassured her. If I'm going to know your identity anyhow, will you de-transform? Marinette asked. Cat looked at her for a second and leaned toward her, seeing her face turn another shade pinker. No, you won't know who I am, even after tomorrow. I will leave my Miraculous on your bed sometime after the fight with Hawk Moth. You won't see me leave or come. Cat explained. But Cat, if Hawk Moth isn't a threat, then... Marinette started. Other people will try to hurt you. Trust me. Cat sighed. Other people? Marinette asked. It's getting late. We need to get some rest. Cat said, starting to turn over, but felt Marinette grip his arm. Wait, no, I'm not sure if you remember or not, but... Marinette started. What is it? He asked. Tonight, you were going to come and ask me something. I, I didn't think it was going to be my help defeating Hawk Moth, was it? Well, before you were sent to the past... What were you going to ask me? Marinette stuttered, feeling her heart beating faster. Uh, oh, my question? Cat said surprised. Cat sat up slightly and turned to Marinette. He leaned in ever so seductively and pressed his hand on the wall behind her as he smirked at her, seeing her hold her breath in anticipation. I was going to ask if... You would be my girlfriend. He smiled. Marinette looked up at him as her face was bright red, unable to respond. Cat let go of the wall and was going to lay back down, seeing that she wasn't going to respond. Suddenly, he felt a jerk of the hand he was pulling away and saw Marinette jerk her hand back toward him. He looked down at her and she closed her eyes, pushing herself up toward him. She pressed her lips against his. Cat closed his eyes, remembering what it felt like again to kiss her soft lips. He wrapped his hand around her waist and head as he kissed her ever so sweetly. As she pushed herself toward him to kiss him, they both eventually lost balance, falling backward onto the pillows behind Cat Noir. Marinette landed on top of him, both looking at each other. Marinette landed on top of him, both looking at each other. Marinette leaned back down once more and placed a sweet, soft peck on his lips before rolling back to her side of the bed. Cat smiled and closed his eyes, trying to enjoy the time he had with her while he could. Good night, Kitty, Marinette said. <laughs> Good night, my lady, he said. With that, they both fell asleep in Marinette's bed beside one another. The entire day, Marinette spent with Cat Noir as much as she could, not only trying to convince him to stay her partner, but also trying to savor their time together as well. Not only was she trying to savor her time, but he was also trying to savor their time spent together. As the sun set, Marinette turned to Cat Noir with a sudden look. It's time, he said. Tiki, spots on. Hey everyone, thanks for listening. I know this chapter was kind of short, but I'm kind of glad because my voice, if you couldn't hear, is really bad. I'm really hoping my voice goes back to normal once the pollen and my allergies go away. But again, sorry for my voice being the way it is, but I hope to see you in the next chapter. We're almost done. I cannot believe it. 
and let me tell you the grand finale is going to blow your mind or i hope it does um anyways i'll see you in the next chapter bye guys